Okay. Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by V1. The only, we're both in LA and we're chilling, Sarah Frazier. Hi, David Yantif. We are both in LA. Hanging out, exploring all things Bravo. You know, you're here. I love it. You kind of came at the worst time, though, because in L.A., it is the June gloom. When I, I moved here a year ago, and I really thought that it was sunny all the time and 72 degrees, but it's actually not. It's it, It's been unusually cold all spring here. It's awful. It's, it's been so cold. And then June, I didn't know this, but the natives always say it's June gloom, and it's literally gray and overcast the entire month. And it's like 65 degrees freezing. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> Carolyn Manzo says her family is thick as thieves. And I say, I love the June gloom. I would like there to be you do? love. Oh. Love. Now I'm leaving tomorrow. I have some business to attend to in Palm Springs. And then I'm going back to the Hamptons. It is freezing in the Hamptons as well. So we're right there with you. I love the June gloom. And if the sun never, ever, ever came out, Again, for the rest of what? my life, I would be, Sarah, do you see this? Do you see this? You always really tell like me I'm aging backwards. Well, guess what, sweetheart? There's a key to aging backwards. No sun. I am an anti-sun uh, stand, I, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I hate this sun. I hate everything about it. Do I lay out at the pool in the Hamptons? Yes. Am I under the umbrella? Yes. I'm ready to look like a used leather saddle, baby. I love the sun. I love to worship it. Oh my God, get it on me. There's been no sun in Los Angeles. I am, I'm like, I said to my husband, let's like, okay, if this keeps up, we got to move to Vegas. Like I want to be, you know, I'll be there with Perez Hilton and Mark Wahlberg and allegedly Lisa Vanderpump is leaving Hollywood and moving to Vegas. Is she? I'm right. That's the rumor. Yeah. The rumor, Vegas, the, I mean, there's yeah. lots of rumors that are unconfirmed, but there's even a rumor that Bella Rosa was sold in a private sale earlier this year I and that they that. are moving to Vegas. Well, you know what? There was a rumor that Chateau Dubro was sold and then it turned out to be true. So where there is yes. smoke, there is often fire. I bet you Bella Rosa has been uh, sold. I bet you. That's supposedly it. Yes. And uh, I mean, I guess they're business people, but they over the past couple of years, they've taken out $18 million in mortgages, uh, which Ooh. I guess they're using. They're probably using, I guess, to uh, invest in these restaurants or whatever, but they uh, mortgaged against Villa Rosa. Let me tell you dollars. something about when you move, because Perez, I've had on, you know, my show many times. Ah. Perez, and I have a very good friend in common. So I know a little bit about Perez's mindset. Listen, you, when you leave LA and you move to Vegas, you basically live like a fucking king. Yeah, sure. You do, I know. The Villa Rosa was sold. I mean, you know, no offense to anyone. Listen, I'm not revealing anything that I shouldn't, but like when Jacqueline Lorita was having financial issues in New Jersey, they chose Vegas. I mean, it is very cheap to live in Vegas. It does, is. Does Jacqueline live there now? Does she live in Vegas now? She did up until two seconds ago, and now she is moving to the one, the only OC. She's wait, Jacqueline Larita's moving out here to the to Orange County. She is. Really? She's not interested in being on the show. I I I had to warn her about the rat. I had to warn her about Tam Rat, a little scurrying rat. Um, I don't know where Jacqueline stands on the rat. You know, listen, I don't really tell people who they should be friends with. Um, I do think Jacqueline has good things to say about Tamrat, but I just gave her my opinion and said, if you see something scurrying in the streets at night, <laughs> beware. It is a rat. It's a it is rat. Tamrat. Um, well, on that note. Yeah, I was going to say, let's start there then. Has Tamrat saved the OC? They started with, now listen, I mean, I don't want to be negative. They started with their highest ratings in two years. Now that's certainly not a bad thing. We did have a couple of off seasons with some cast members. Um, but I mean, you got to attribute that to Tamra riding down the highway on her motorcycle. Um, I Look, I'm happy to be positive on this one. And I'm actually happy to separate my own feelings towards it 
and what's fact. Tamrat has saved RHOC, hands down. Really? They had terrific ratings the season premiere. I watched it the season premiere. Was and it my good? Because I didn't watch it. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, you know, I mean, do we do we think that, like, because at the end of the episode, they tease, like, what's ahead this season? Yes. And it looks like absolutely nothing of interest, except for I do want to see how Shannon Bedore's three-year boyfriend at the time, how they break up. So I'm really curious for that scene. But minus that, there's nothing substantial. But I, I honestly don't think they need it. I think having Tamrat back in the scene is really big. I think she saved it. And I think this season will serve up everything that viewers want. I think it will just be kind of old school, RHOC, um, you know, in episode one, we see Shannon and Tamara making up after about two years of not speaking. They begin to repair their relationship or they're going to. So I think it's going to give RHOC fans everything they want. Taylor Armstrong. I mean, it's interesting to me. You and I talked about this. You don't see a lot of Taylor. They're not teasing a ton of Taylor. They show like one or two scenes I think she's going to be in. They don't tease Vicky. Vicky's kind of guest appearance. Well, they're friends but- of both of these gals. But I think it will serve, I think it will give you everything you want in the RHOC. I think it's going to do very well. And apparently Heather has problems with everyone or everyone came for Heather this season. Apparently she has problems with Emily, Gina, Tamara, yeah. and Taylor. That's uh, This is from Heather's mouth. She just did an interview. Okay. So you know, they look. don't tease a lot of that. They don't tease a lot of that on episode one or the like what's ahead, but it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. And how are Emily and Gina? Are they interesting? Um, Do we fall asleep during them? Like, where are we with them? I guess at this point, look, I've always loved, I love Emily because I think she's really body positive and I love that she doesn't fit this, the stereotypical like OC look where it's tiny and huge lips and big tits. I don't know though. Then there's rumors that she's on Ozempic. So maybe we'll see a transformation. Gina obviously looks really great you know she's lost a lot of weight however she did that and um they're okay i mean i guess they've kind of worn on me um they're still there so why not right i yeah yeah look it, i'm cautiously optimistic i just haven't gotten around to watching it look i don't think Tamara being back is a bad thing atlanta started with decent ratings this season too and now it's fallen and so just let's you know let's cautiously be optimistic about the OC I have to tell you I've heard mixed things I've had a lot of people say what you're saying and I've had a lot of people say look if the ratings stay where they are over one 1.0 whatever it's not highly over one but it's good it's it's they're in the game and she will